And let's go to Longueuil, Quebec, just outside of Montreal, where police and firefighters are responding to a train derailment. For more on this, we are joined from the scene by CTV's Matt Grillo. Matt, thanks for joining us. What do we know so far on this? Well, we got an update late this morning from authorities here, from, from CN officials, and essentially this train derailment happened uh, after 8 a.m. here, as you mentioned, in Longueuil. It's a suburb of, of Greater Montreal, about 15 minutes from downtown uh, Montreal on the South Shore. And the update we got from CN was that eight wagons were involved in this derailment. Four of them are on their side and four of them are still upright. But as you can see, if you can see right behind me here, firefighters have been hosing down one wagon in particular now for several hours. One of the wagons involved uh, in this derailment is leaking hydrogen peroxide. So an 800 meter uh, confinement zone or, or perimeter was set up uh, in the area here. And authorities are asking people to stay inside uh, if you can, uh, close your windows, close your doors, li really li try and limit that air circulation as much as possible. Now, there was no fire uh, in this derailment. There were no injuries, although three CN employees were transported to hospital for preventative measures. We don't know how this derailment was caused. CN says there could be three reasons. There could have been a, a trouble with the tracks, some sort of issue with the train tracks. And there could have been an operational problem or a maneuver that was done that led to this derailment. And finally, uh, there could have been a mechanical issue as well. It's not clear what caused this derailment, as I mentioned, and an investigation is underway. There is an impact, though, on Via Rail and on the local commuter train here uh, in Greater Montreal as well. Specifically, when it comes to Via Rail, the update we got from them was about six trains are impacted by this. Uh, they've either been stopped or they've, those, those trains have been cancelled uh, altogether. So that's really the update here uh, from Longueuil. We, as I mentioned, we heard from authorities uh, late this morning and uh, certainly will be on the scene here uh, throughout the afternoon and into the evening. Any indications as to how long that stay inside uh, order will last and have the cleanup? It's not clear at this point. We do know, of course, the train tracks are, are still closed. We don't know how long they'll be closed for. It could be hours. It could be longer than that. CN wasn't able to say. I will tell you, though, there is a daycare across the street from here, and we did speak with the director of that daycare. Of course, uh, the children were brought to another school, were brought to another location because everybody had to evacuate uh, the building, the daycare here. And the, and the director of the daycare told us that, in fact, they've been they've been allowed to to, to go back into into their into their building although the children have left for the day. They've gone home with their parents. So that might be an indication for how long this uh, confinement zone uh, will remain in place. Uh, certainly we'll be asking uh, authorities, the fire department specifically, uh, for updates throughout the afternoon. The other question too is, you know, this hydrogen peroxide leak, we don't know uh, what the exposure levels are. We don't know uh, if this could potentially be dangerous. So those are major questions that uh, we're hoping we'll get answers to throughout the day. Okay, CTV's Matt Grillo, thank you for that update.